In this video, we're going to configure a default static route, which is required for our firewall and our users and servers to access the internet. To add a static route, we need to go to virtual routers. So let's go there on the left. Then let's go to our custom virtual router of RHVR. And before we do that, actually, since we configured our interfaces, let's go to more runtime stats. And here for routing, you will see information that you didn't see here before. This will show you the actual networks and the IP configured for our interfaces of Ethernet 1.1 and Ethernet 1.2. So for Ethernet 1.1, this reflects the actual network. And this here reflects the actual IP that is configured on that interface. And the same for Ethernet 1.2. This reflects the network and this reflects the IP that is configured for that interface. When we add our static route, this would appear as another entry in this routing table. Let's go ahead and close up this window. Now let's go into our custom virtual router of RHVR. And here on the left, let's go to static routes. Then on this page for IPv4, let's go to add. And this will add a IPv4 static route. For the name, we'll call this default gateway. For the destination, since we were adding a default static route, the network will be four zeros of 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 slash zero. Next for the interface, we're going to select the WAN facing interface on our firewall. So that will be Ethernet 1.1. For the next hop, we're going to specify the IP address. So we will select IP address. And the next hop IP will be the following. And that is it. So once we're finished, we'll click on OK to add the static route. And there we'll see this among other potential static routes that we could add. Once we're done here, we're going to click on OK again. Then let's go ahead and commit the changes. Okay, so now our changes are complete. And you can see here on the main page that we have one static route that has been configured. If we go back to more runtime stats to view the routing table, we will now see our default static route. The destination is the all zeros. The next hop is this IP, which points to our upstream provider. And for the flags, the S means static route, routing through our WAN facing interface. And that is how you can add a default or any static route into the PAN appliance.